Morning! Sorry, cat. Three days out. Three. Three days. That's 72 hours. We're getting it. It's coming around quick, but I'm fucking excited. And today we've got a good day. Today we start the process. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the supermarket this morning um, before I train. And I, unbeknown to me, I actually had a weekly refeed day in for the last three weeks, which is basically taking my carbs from about. I mean, honestly, as I said to you guys earlier, when I talk about carbs and fats and stuff, at the moment, the grind is the grind and I really don't give a fuck about those ratios. All I care about is keeping protein at a certain amount, which is 220 a day, and keeping my calories under a certain amount. And if you do that, fuck. Your other macros can be what the hell they want. It's, it's still gonna do the job. So all you're basically wanting to do is to fill up those extra macros with high volume foods so that you're feeling full because otherwise you're gonna feel hungry as fuck like I do every morning at the moment and it's it's getting tedious man I, I'm the only good thing is when I'm lying in bed and I feel my stomach rumbling and I'm like fuck all right yeah can I feel can I feel any more any any leaner and then I have a look at it and I'm like fuck yes I'm looking lean so it's all worth it in the end but yeah it's kind of hard especially going to bed on a, on like not on an empty stomach, but going to bed feeling hungry is it's tough, man. It's not natural. It's it's um yeah, it's it's definitely not easy. So anyways, as I said today, um I've got the refeed day. So my coach was like, What the fuck are you doing? You you mean like he asked me, because obviously I'm coming into the show, this practice one. I asked him last night, I was like, Well what what's the protocol gonna be? And I know he's big on not having a protocol at all, really. No peak week as such, no water manipulation, blah, blah, blah. But I hit him up with my ideas and he's like, bro, don't do any of that. Just listen to me. And then he hit me up with a question, um, when do you look your best around your refeed day? You know, before, during or after. I was like, refeed day? What are you talking about? And he's like, well, look at your plan. You've got a refeed day in there. And it so happened that I did. So on a refeed day, I just up my carbs by 60 to 80 grams. So I'll be going for 280 to 300 grams of carbs today and lower the fats down a little bit um, and the protein will remain the same at probably 210, 220. So that gives me a little bit of um, a little bit of leeway, a little bit of flexibility today. So I'm gonna go to the supermarket first thing and pick up my carbs for the day. I've, um, I've run out of pumpkin, I've run out of salads. In fact, I am sick of, si two things I'm sick of. They've got no substance, salad and jelly. God, I, I have, yeah, really run those into the ground, to be honest with you. I, I won't be eating jelly for a long time. Especially not sugar-free jelly. Because it's really, it's just, uh, it's just, <laughs> it's not even volume, it's just water. And right now I'm looking for food, so. Let's go to the supermarket. I've been rambling fucking way long enough. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see what I'm going to get. And I'm also going to start my post comp collection. So I'm going to have a slight, I'm not going to have a blowout at all. I'm just going to have a, a nice cheat meal after the comp um, in Wellington, Saturday night, and um, probably a nice breakfast Sunday morning too. So I will be taking a couple of snacks with me and um, I'm going to pick them up today too. So. Without further ado, let's get the fuck out of here and go buy some nice food. Alright guys, last time I talked to you, it would have to have been about 10 o'clock in the morning and we were just going out to uh, buy some food, weren't we? Well, um, one of the realities of, of this comp prep is that I get up, I start doing things and then I'll just drop. I'll just completely drop of energy I'll just be like fuck this I'm going back to bed <laughs> and that's exactly what I just did so 
who knows, had have eaten a big breakfast, I may have stayed up, but I didn't, and now I'm super fucking hungry, and now we really are going to the supermarket, because um, I ain't waiting any fucking longer. Sorry. Turn that off. I should be excited about this, but man, I just got no energy. Fucking roadworks. Keeping me from my carbs, man. All right, guys. We're just on the way to the supermarket. And it's actually proving to be harder than I thought to decide what I'm gonna have. It's like, I've got 280 grams of carbs, man. It's like Christmas. What am I gonna do? Because I'm so used to scrimping on the carbs and having shitty tasting high volume foods so this time I'm gonna have a couple of condensed treats and I've walked past donuts, I've walked past muffins, I've walked past everything every time I go in this fucking supermarket and I go and get clean foods every time and this time I'm gonna stop and at least get one thing from like the bakery section and I'm looking forward to it as you can probably tell by my face <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I eat that, whatever it is, before I go and train because um, I definitely want to see any effects it has on my vascularity, on the pump, um, my strength, even though it's only gonna be probably a couple hours before I train, but I still think um, it's, it's gonna make a difference. So let's see. Here we are. Pack and save in New Zealand came here pretty much every time I've gone to the supermarket so far and I just had to do a three point turn into a, a park um, that's a bit embarrassing So, forgot my wallet, so got all these delicious foods sitting there, and I can't even eat them yet, but I think I made some good decisions. I obviously tried to go low fat, if anything had like over 5 grams of fat per serve, I was just like, nah, can't get it, can't get it. Honestly, I think I'm half developing a bloody eating disorder, it's not good. Seriously, this is just like, torture. My stomach is, it's like cramping man, so hungry. And this is a point where I'd get home, like, it's up to me what I do right now, I'm fucking starving, but I know that the food that I'm meant to eat today is back there. So when I get home, it's gonna be extremely hard not to just ravage the freaking cupboards. But. thinking about that. <laughs> so finally, I'm home. Let's go see. My wallet's inside. And I already know what I'm going to get. I can't not grab something to eat right now. I am starving. 
So I'm grabbing an ice cream. Fuck it. Seems like a yes. There it is. Seems like a huge deal just eating a little ice cream, but it's not. This <laughs> there's one left, and it's been staring at me for about ten days straight. Let's check the macros. Oh, sh this shit! <laughs> it's got as much fat in it as, as it does carbs. Fuck! Do I waste thirteen grams of fat on an ice cream when I've got sixty for the day? No. Fuck that. What do I do? You know what? Fuck it. I don't want to come showtime and think I could have done something better. Because the only thing... Yeah. The only thing I'm afraid of is regret. Fuck that. Got my wallet. Sweet, let's go.